out. Luke Rooney is in for Tony Cassio. Otherwise, very similar group to what we saw last time out. Meanwhile, for San Antonio, Darren Powell making one change. Taylor Morgan out due to yellow card accumulation. Frank Tayu is into the starting 11. Be very interested to see how this defense stands up for Cardoni, but also on the offensive side of things, Rafa Castillo is just an electric type player, and he usually has some highlights in his 90 minutes of work. The ball spotted at midfield. The rain has been torrential in San Antonio. There is thunderstorms uh, to follow. Whether or not the full game gets in before we see those, an argument that uh, certainly will play out in the coming 90 minutes or so. We're underway. It's the black and silver of San Antonio and the white and navy of Arizona United. Unless the weather really starts back up. This ball falls right in the middle, and the shot is blocked as Taiyu had that deflect perfectly to his foot, but wasn't able to put it towards net. When I saw this team being formed, and I saw that Castillo was a member of this club, I saw good things happening as they move forward right now. Torreira goes wide left. Touching inside, Alvarez. Still on the dribble and fires a shot that goes well wide right of the cage. And that will be a big shot in the leg for San Antonio to have him back. Literally, figuratively. All of the above. <laughs> Tayu plays in the cross. It falls Castillo, and that's stopped by Wazinski. Very nice to see how aggressive San Antonio has been in these opening moments. Big time save by Wazinski. It'll be interesting to see how San Antonio responds having to change their keeper so close to game time as we see the injury. Turrier fouled by uh, Julian Ringhoff here. Nothing malicious. Rubin is racing. Alvarez will take this one. Or no, he won't. It will be Castillo. Puts it in, popped up, and out of play. Bradnock Brennan, the central defender, had come up. And the ball deflects well over the bar. Arizona not exactly sure which way it was going to go, and now we've got an injury. Take another look on how it happened. Castillo into the box, and the volley goes high into the air. Inside, and you see right there, as both teammates were going for the ball, McCarthy definitely goes down on the play. This will add, will certainly add to the number of stoppage minutes we get at the end of the 45. You've now changed two of the back five before even making it to the quarter of an hour mark. Ford out with Cardoni coming in in pregame, and now Sam McBride, who has some familiarity having come from Elon to San Antonio with the Darren Powell system has to come in 12 and a half minutes into the game and replace a guy in Stephen McCarthy who two, three years ago was New England's Defensive Player of the Year in MLS. So officially that substitution will be at the 13-minute mark. And you see the way he's holding that arm. And, and, and you talk about the late substitution, Cardoni for Ford. Now you really change everything up in the center of this club. And just another in a long line of injuries. No Araujo, no Chin, no Reed, no Francois, no Palacios, who had a particularly gruesome concussion. And now no Ford and no McCarthy. It's San Antonio's more of a mash unit as that ball gets through. Ozondo is still on side, lays it off. Castillo hit from behind, and there's no whistle. Castillo sends in the service. The header is just wide from Alvarez. Great job by Alvarez. Great service, great ball. And he just puts it wide right. And he definitely wants that one back because he, they have had very little possession all game long, spent very little time on this side of the pitch. And when they were on this side of the pitch, it was really San Antonio making the move like they are right now. Alvarez playing Cochran, who drives a ball inside. 
Hopped in the air right over the bar, up the pitch, and you're having your way with the other team. Now, that's all good, and there's going to be a dangerous spot for a free kick. Castillo retaking his paces. This is as tight to the box as you can get. Castillo tries it on frame, and it's punched over by Wazinski. San Antonio seems like they're almost the only team on this pitch. They can burn you, especially with the offensive weapons they have. West for Blackwood. And West hammered on the near touch line. So it's a free kick for Arizona. Pad, and they move it quickly down the side. Blackwood to the byline and is touched too heavy as Castillo was coming in to help. And it seems like right now for San Antonio, this game's going to go the way Roth and Castillo goes. And there are worse things to have as the diving forward header. Tayu is going to be shown a card as Ramage simply more dove into his foot than anything. Castillo arguing his case. We'll take a look at it right now. Ball chips forward. He throws his head out there. I don't know that I agree with that one, especially when we didn't see a card earlier just outside the box. It's Alvarez driving top of the 18, takes the shot and curled it well over. Handled by Cortez, threw ball up the left wing, and a long run for Brennan. The cross inside looking for long tan. He's on offense, and they just haven't been there yet. Rooney puts it in play, and it's going all the way over and out of play. They have entered with MLS teams backing them. A bit of a talent pool to start with. Through ball, onside, Alvarez, he scores. Second goal of the season for the first signing in San Antonio history. Great job by Alvarez to break free, get his left foot on it, beat not only the keeper, but two defenders on this one. He has to do a great job of working to the left, getting past Kelly, and making the shot. You know, more on that in a second as that red smoke billows out. It's Cortez. Finally, this is Arizona possessing the ball the way they want. It's Long Tan who plays it to the back post and put it over. Silva doing a nice job of waiting and being able to pick that one off and a nice run. Blackwood saved by Wazinski trying to get to the byline and he played it off of Cardoni rather a second time. He really didn't see much action at all in the first 30 minutes. Elizondo cuts it back. Tayu, left-footed effort, he scores. 20 yards away, he blasts it on the ground past Wazinski, and San Antonio's got a second. What an outstanding bit of soccer. Waited for the opening, found it, took his shot, found the back of the net, and this is a big lead for the home club. Elizondo being patient to stay on side, waiting for the defenders, split them. Tayu working the line, finding the back of the net, nothing that Wazinski could do because he shaded over too far, and the angle was there for Tayu just to put it right on that right post. Blackwood lays it off. Rooney fires. Oh, he scored. Oh, what a finish. And Luke Rooney pulls one back before halftime. Wow. And Luke Rooney, just like that, splits the lead in half in stoppage time. And this changes the complexity of this game. Just when you think that San Antonio is comfortably in control of this from distance, Back in the net, bang, 2-1. San Antonio just before the break. Before the whistle is blown. And Adam West brought down. And another card to be handed out. This one to Cesar Elizondo. So Arizona has one goal in first half stoppage time. Adam West trying to find another. Blair Gavin puts it in the air. Luke Rooney, as we know, can be busy from anywhere, but uh, the whistle 
Certainly saved by the bell, San Antonio, in this moment. 2-1 San Antonio at halftime. This is a San Antonio side that played with desperation, and as we begin the second half, realized what they needed to do, and lofted right over the top at a two-fisted punch away from Cardoni. The attack still on for Arizona. And this is a ball he would definitely want back. And it all started with Cardoni coming out of his cage, punching that one away. And it's Castillo who walks away from the scrum. Finds Tayu, give and go. Tayu slips a ball through the middle, poorly cleared by West, setting up the shot! Wow. And it's in! From long distance, and that ball did not leave the surface. Nice flick, unable to clear. Elizondo from about 30. And that ball never left the ground. What a play. Right foot. Wazinski, nothing he could do. It's back. Turrier lofts it over the top for Tayu. Flag stays down. Tayu's shot is deflected out in front. Streaking up the left-hand side. Arizona trying to respond. It's Blackwood. The back heel pass clipped back to Rooney again. And Rooney will try again. It bounces out in front. And a second save. And this is off the line. Now everybody gets a chance to take, catch their breath and watch this. Cortez nearly. Cardoni stopped it enough. And then Cochran. Cardoni just slowed it down enough. Cochran cl clears it off the line. West puts it long towards the keeper. And they're pointing to the spot for a penalty. And look at Alvarez gesturing in all sorts of directions. It was Ramage who was pushing in. And then the penalty goes to United. What a big call to make at this point in the game from Marco Vega. Castillo and, and trying to pull Alvarez away. San Antonio might have won an argument on this one because the referee's going to talk to his AR. Possibility that this might be reversed in this conversation. Let's take a look. And it's Ringhoff who had his legs combine there and, and curl together with Alvarez. See if the initial call is going to stand or not, and it will not. Rooney slipping it through. Blackwood chips wide. They're going to they're going to step up and they're going to surprise some people. Rooney again, not this time. Cardoni rising up to pop it over the bar. It's West to the near post, and that is off the top netting and out of play. Ramage, aptly named burrowing into the goal and putting that over. Arizona is, is desperate right now down two goals. Cassio and, and another penalty as Uzo was brought down. McBride was battling for position along with Brennan and the yellow going to Brennan. Arizona has a chance now. I don't think this one will be overturned. Rooney scored in first half stoppage time. He steps up and delivers top net. 87th minute, 